Welcome back to the channel. Today, I just want to put out a little disclaimer. We're going to do a little series of videos showing you guys how to do little modifications to your Crown Victoria that may or may not piss some of you off. Um, basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to start with the way my car sits right now. We're going to make some. We're going to do some changes to it to kind of make it a little bit more plain, and then we're going to bring it back. And uh, by the end of the little series there, you guys are going to see how to put on that Go Rhino wraparound. So don't freak out over the next couple videos, all right? So hang in there, bear with me. There are a few people out there that want to kind of, you know, make their car, you know, less, I guess, cop-like. So what I want to show you guys is kind of a few little things that you can do, little tips, tricks, um, subtle things that you can do to kind of make your car less like a law enforcement vehicle. So like I said, if you can hang in there with me, by the time we're done with this little series, we're gonna have a Go Rhino wraparound on the front of the car. As you guys saw in one of my recent videos, um, I have a little tutorial of how to change out the front grille. So I'm not gonna kinda show you guys how to do that again. Um, what I'll probably do is just swap the grill real quick. Um, and then today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a quick subtle change that might even look good on, you know, your car, depending on what color your car is, things like that. Um, basically, some of the higher end Crown Victorias and some of the uh, Grand Marquise vehicles that are out there, um, they came with little painted covers on the, uh, on the side view mirrors. And depending on what kind of look you're trying to go for, this might be pretty handy for you. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to pop your mirrors off or pop your mirror glass out and switch these covers. Um, it's kind of a quick, uh, subtle change. So if you're looking to kind of make your car a little bit more unique, you can actually pop these covers off and spray paint them white if you have the black ones, um, or just color match them to your car if you have a different color uh, type vehicle. I'm thinking of you, Street Cruising 101. Um, had I even thought of it before you painted your car, I would have told you maybe, maybe pop your mirror covers off and get those painted blue since you're trying to ditch the cop look. Um, you know, I think it's a good little subtle change that makes it look way less like a cop car if that's the angle you're going for. Or if you're just looking for a subtle uh, custom change on your vehicle, something that makes yours look a little different when you go to the little car meets there. Um, because everybody's got black mirrors. Let's face it, everybody's got the black mirrors on their car. But if you can color match your uh, mirror caps to the color of your car might be kind of interesting. So anyway, uh, now that I've droned on forever, let's go ahead and get to the point and uh, let's get going on this video. So here we have the car the way it sits right now. Today's video, we're going to talk about how to take this cap off. And it's actually pretty easy because you don't really need a whole lot of tools to do it. So basically, you can kind of push this cover in. There you go, just pops right off. So there's a couple of hooks on the back here and that's really all it takes. So when you're gonna go put this back, basically pop it back into place. So there you go, there is the inside of your mirror. And if you ever need to replace your glass, that's uh, how you do it. Hey, how you guys doing? Basically, there's a couple clips in here and uh, I would recommend doing this, you know, not in the middle of summer because there's a wasp nest right there. So wasps love to nest in these cars. But uh, there's a couple little clips. There's one back there that you can kind of see and one right here that you can kind of see. And basically you pop those clips and the cover comes off. So let's go ahead and set the glass down. So right here is a junkyard mirror cover that I got a while back. And as you can see on the inside here, if I can get the light right, there are three little clips that this thing has to hook onto and then a little clip at the bottom there, a clip on the side. So those three clips, you know, one, two, three, are gonna clip onto the mirror in, internally, and this is gonna be kinda at the bottom. So as you can see, I've already started loosening the mirror right here. Um, yeah, there's your first clip. Your second clip is up here. Kinda hard to see, it's hard to make it focus. And then the third one is over here. So basically, you just kinda push those clips so that they pop free of the little hooks that are in there. And then you just work your mirror cover off. So 
So there you go. There is the black mirror cover. And we'll go ahead and switch it out for the white one. See, this is what the mirror looks like uncovered. Uh, you may need to do this if you're going to do like mirror beams or something. So I don't know exactly what the install procedure is for those, but um, I imagine it's something similar to this. <laughs> so there you go. You can kind of see those clips a little bit better where they hook into. And there you go. It just pops on. Kind of an interesting look. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments down there. I'm sure a lot of you are not going to be fans, but if you're looking for a subtle change, this is really easy to do and requires zero tools. And you could theoretically use your own mirror cover, just take it off and paint it. Um, even if the color isn't 100% perfect, you'd never really notice. Because the uh, paint isn't exactly up against the other part there. All right, so when you put your glass back in, the hooks are just going to kind of go one in that hole and then one in the hole up here. If I can get it to focus, there you go. So basically, they're just going to go in those little spots. Now, voila, you're done. So there you go, just a subtle little change, but it'll make your car stand out a little bit. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. So it's just that fast. Let me know, tell me what you guys think. Color matched or blacked out? I think it looks good either way, personally. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, this is a good video for anybody who just needs to know how to change out their mirror glass or switch that cover or if you're just trying to figure out how to get into the mirror in general. But uh, if you're looking for a nice, subtle upgrade, something that makes your car just look a hair different, but not really eye-catchingly weird, um, I think that these uh, color-matched mirror covers give it just a touch of class. Um, you know, it takes it away from that utilitarian look, but also gives you something that makes you just look a hair different from everybody else. Um, so let me know what you guys think down in the description, or not the description, in the comments. 
Um, but let me know either way. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, you know, like I said, we're going to go through a few different kind of changes here with the Crown Vic. And then by the time I'm done doing this little series, um, we are going to make it look very cop-like because it's going to get the Go Rhino wraparound push bumper, um, which in itself should be interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please click like. If not, then uh, yeah, more power to you, I guess. <laughs> Love to all of you. I'll see you on the next video. All right, so a little story time for you guys. I'm trying to get a pic quick picture for Instagram, you know, to show you guys the little change here in the mirrors. And uh, stopped right about here to get my picture. I'm kind of far back in the grass. And uh, looked over here on the fence, which you can't see right now, and there was a red-tailed hawk sitting there. And he did not approve of me being here. And I'm pretty sure he was like the Sam, you know, Samuel L. Jackson of uh, red-tailed hawks because he straight cussed me out in like some sort of like hawkinese. Squealed and squealed and squealed and then went from the fence, dipped down, and it flew up to the top of that pole. That's right, Florida man got cussed out by a bird in his own yard. What is the world coming to? <laughs>